Welcome back to the channel. Quick recap. In the last episode, Vegeta beat Dodorio sure. and he found Dragon Balls and hid one. And now and he's running to Zarbon and he's about to fight him. What? Uh, I'm pretty sure Zarbon is going to tell us more of a threat in Dodorio. But we'll get into it anyway. Alright, uh, now so there's a rapid strike combo. That wasn't too hard to block. And that uh, body shot actually connected. That seems to be a pretty good block there. Oh wow, he went over that. He is falling for the body shot a lot. This might be a little bit easier than the other one. Fights have just begun now, so you never know. He's smarter than Dodoria. I mean, like, he only looked out of the way of that after he just threw his key blast. Uh, I think some of that actually broke through the guard this time. Ah, uh, caught him that time. Damn, I thought I blocked that. Clearly not. Alright, let's see if we have time to charge up. Nice, nah, we got the full power before he got to us. Body shot gets him every time. Well, he's almost out. I think I, uh, I might have overestimated how much he was going to go in the first fight. Because this seems uh, actually easier than Dodoria, but I know he's got a transformation up his sleeve from watching the series. I just don't know if he's going to transform before I defeat him and get held back or not mind. Just straight get defeated. He's probably going to transform after this then. <laughs> after all that, you couldn't lay a finger on me! <laughs> You've improved. I'll give you that much at least. But, you don't seem to realize the mistake you've just made. You have awakened my true power. You've got quite a sense of humor. Go on, show me your power. You are going to regret this, Vegeta. Prepare to be amazed by my glorious transformation. <laughs> Pretty foolish. You went to all that trouble to grow stronger, and for what? Nothing. And here's something else you probably didn't know. Lord Frieza also hides his true power behind transformations. But... <clears throat> oh, he passed out. I'm afraid I can't let you die just yet. I still have a lot to ask you. I can't believe I'm actually providing aid to a traitor like you. Once you're fully conscious, you're going to tell me where you've hidden the Dragon Ball. There it is! That's Guru's house! That's it? Hey, Nail! You're okay! I'm glad to see you're safe, Dende. Grand Elder Guru is aware of your situation. You two may enter. Grand Elder Guru will see you now. Uh, he's huge! 
out? Welcome, young Earthling. I understand I have you to thank for saving my little Dende here. My gratitude. Uh, well, I really didn't do much. It pains me that most of my children on this planet have fallen victim to such vile invaders. I had no idea the Dragon Balls, the very symbols of Namekian wisdom and power, could cause such strife. Uh, forgive me for cutting straight to the chase, but do you think I could borrow the one that you got right there? Look, I won't let the bad guys get their hands on it. I promise! I'd like him to have it as well. If the Earthlings get the Dragon Balls, they can wish for theirs to return to Earth. What? What? There are Dragon Balls on Earth as well. Is or was there a Namekian there? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember hearing about one coming to Earth in order to flee some sort of crisis here on Namek. It must have been Kata's child. Truthfully, I'm surprised the child was able to survive the journey. If memory serves me, he was a gifted member of the Dragon Clan, the creators of the Dragon Balls. But how is it he met his end? Did he die of natural causes, or was he killed? He was killed by someone here on Namek, a Saiyan named Vegeta. Young Earthling, please step forward. I would like to look into your past. Huh? My past? But my goodness! He split himself in two to combat the evil in his own heart? How foolish. To reduce such extraordinary potential is such a waste. If he had remained as one, he might not have met with such a horrible fate. Remained as one? Wait, does that mean if Kami and Piccolo rejoin, Piccolo will get his power back? Very well. I can see that your intentions are pure, and that you have exhibited great bravery thus far. I will entrust this Dragon Ball to you. However, you might not be able to make your wish. Uh, what do you mean? Unfortunately, I am not long for this world. I have perhaps only a few days left. Do you think you can reclaim the remaining Dragon Balls from those horrible fiends? As strong as you are, I fear that might prove impossible. Once I am gone, the Dragon Balls will cease to exist. Uh, I see. Well, I guess we'll just have to do what we can. I'll keep the Dragon Ball, and I'll guard it with my life. I appreciate it. I must say, you seem to possess a great deal of strength for an Earthling. But much of it lies dormant and unrealized. How unfortunate. Allow me to release the power resting deep inside you. Wh what are you talking about? There's no way I'm hiding any more power. I mean, I'm already pushing myself to the limit. <laughs> <laughs> Where did all this power come from? Yeah! I've never felt this kind of power before! This is incredible! Wait. Uh, would it be okay if I brought a friend of mine here to see you? I bet he's got more untapped power than me hidden inside of him. Yes, please bring him here. We could use another ally in the fight for justice. Okay, I'll be right back with him. Now, wait here, Dende. I'm gonna go get Gohan, okay? Uh, all right, be careful. All right, tune in next episode to see uh, Krillin awakened and much more. All right, thanks for watching.